guys, so today I wanted to bring you a review of the Lush Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. You guys know how much I adore this. Um, and I'm going to try to make this video short because I'm going out tonight and I'm really excited because I get to see my boyfriend and some of his friends and I really want to do a boyfriend tag. I really do, but he doesn't want to. So I'm, I promise, guys, I see requests. I'm trying so, so, so hard, but... You know, it takes two to tango, right? So, I mean, I need his permission. But I wanted to bring you a review of this Lush Salt because I adore this so much and tell you a little bit what about I think about it because even though I love it, um, there are people who aren't going to like it as much, I don't think. Um, so this is Lush's Ocean Salt. And Lush is a company that is handmade. Hi, phone. Facebook. I don't want to answer that. Lush is a company that is handmade and they don't do animal testing. Um, they aren't all natural, though. Um, one thing that I do have to point out is that this does contain parabens. I know that a lot of people are against parabens. Some people are super against parabens and other people just don't care. I'm one of those people I care a little bit, but because I don't know as much about parabens as I want to, I'm not, you know, avoiding them like the plague. And they're in so many different things nowadays, but... This is Lotion Salt. Um, I do know that you can't get it in a lot of other countries. You should see. And if you can't, um, maybe take note of the ingredients and try to make it yourself or see if there's a duplicate for um, maybe something in a store in your country that you could get a, hand, that you could get a hold of. Uh, but what this is, is a scrub, and it says for people who like it rough, and it is basically a face and body scrub is what it says. It says that they take the lime and the coconut and the grapefruit and the sea salt, and they mix them all up together in a stimulating, fruity, vodka-based face scrub for a complexion that glows. Um, and I'll read you the ingredients as well. It's supposed to be basically an exfoliating, glowing body and face scrub. The ingredients are fine sea salt, fresh grapefruit infusion, coarse sea salt, steric acid, fresh lime extract in vodka, sodium cocoa aminophate, glycol serrate, um, trithethaname, fresh avocado butter, coconut fat, lime oil, seaweed absolute, vodka leaf absolute, glycerin lanin, settle alcohol, and perfume, blue number one, methyparaben, polyparaben, and then a little star is for occurs naturally in oils. And you guys know that Lush Salt was actually the very th first thing I have ever bought from Lush in my entire life. It was years ago, um, and I've been repurchasing it ever since. And you guys can see, um, I'm also almost out of this one, which is why I got a new one recently. Um, but it is this bright blue color, and it smells pretty amazing. It smells very fresh. It doesn't smell like an ocean. It does smell kind of salty, kind of seaweedy. Very fresh and a bit limey too. Like I can't exactly pinpoint it, but it does smell like lime. Not as much on avocado. And I don't smell alcohol, which is nice because you guys know that I have, I, I have issues. I, I don't like alcohol or anything to do with it. So it smells good. But this ocean salt does not turn you blue, even though it is bright blue, it does not leave you blue. And the way it works, you guys can kind of see the grain in there. It's not a super fine grain, but it's not super coarse either. Um, but it does give you a really good scrub. So how do I feel about this? You guys know personally I love this. One of my favorite body exfoliators. You guys know that for my job and everything, I prefer to wax rather than to shave. But on times that I do have to shave, I always exfoliate. Reason why is because if you don't exfoliate, it's possible that shaving can cause ingrown hairs. And I'll link you to some ingrown hair videos. Um, but exfoliating helps to take down those ingrown hairs. So if you are someone that shaves, this might be a great alternative for you. Um, I use this on my legs and my armpits, wherever I need to. Um, for people with eczema, you should know what triggers your eczema and see if any of the ingredients do. Um, if any of those ingredients do trigger it, I would not recommend it, but otherwise it should be fine. Now, as much as I love this for my body, it is a great overall exfoliator. I don't use this during the day because then I'll get a sunburn. Um, I will use this before I spray tan, before a photo shoot or something. I can, um, when you exfoliate, your spray tan will last longer. So that's, a, that's another good thing to do. And overall, this really does brighten up my skin wherever I put it. It does make it a lot brighter, a lot fresher. Um, and I have a feeling that some of the oils kind of soak in there. Um, but it doesn't leave a residue or anything when I take it off. Now... It does say this is a face scrub, and let me tell you, I do not personally use this on my face. I have done it before. Um, there are a couple things in here that I would be worried about breaking me out, and I do believe this made me break out a while ago. So I would not recommend this for chest, face, or back. That being said, I still love this. And if you're the kind of person who likes to exfoliate your body or has ingrown hairs, I would definitely get it. It has never given me pimples on my legs. I get pimples on my legs and my bottom, um, but this has never, or even my back and my arms, and this has never done that to me. 
So the only place this has made me break out is my face, my chest, and my back. Now, if you are not acne prone, if you do not have pimples, I don't think this is going to be a problem for you. It should not make you break out or start getting acne. Um, but if you have already sensitive skin, I would beware. And I do believe it has to do with some of the, because the lanoin, some of the parabens, and some of the... Um, what is this, coca methathate or glycol serate? I do have a feeling it's because of some of those things because I have used sea salt before and salt on my acne is amazing. Salt for me has helped me with inflammation, helped me with redness, all sorts of things. Um, but this for me kind of made me break out a little bit more. And I'm used to breaking out when trying a new product because it's making your skin better. When you break out, your skin is purging. And at first I started purging and I thought, okay, this is fine, this is working. But as I kept on using it month after month on my face, I realized that it really was not helping. Um, it was just kind of keeping the breakouts going. So I stopped using it, used other things, got a little bit better. You know how that goes. You try something new, then go on to something else. Um, you know how that goes. Um, but I have continued to use this on my body over and over because I love it so much. So would I recommend it to you? Definitely. Uh, I just don't think that this is a good face thing. I think you should take off the face and just say body scrub. Um, but I absolutely love this. This is like a tropical explosion in your shower or bathtub, depending on what you like. Um, but I love to scrub it dub dub with this and I think it's cool. So that is just kind of my thoughts and opinions. I hope this is short and if it's not, then I apologize. Um, but I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this and if you have it tell me did you like it or not um but i love you all very much and i will talk to you soon <laughs> love you guys bye